You probably have a little orange box of baking soda sitting somewhere in your kitchen right now. Maybe in the fridge, maybe under the sink. You use it to clean, to bake, or to absorb smells. But what if I told you that tiny box could do far more for your body than you ever imagined? People all over the world are rediscovering the incredible health benefits of something that's been in our homes for more than a hundred years. And yes, the science behind it might surprise you. So grab your glass of water and stay with me until the end because I'm going to show you how baking soda, when used correctly, can help your digestion, your kidneys, your energy levels, your muscles, and even your skin. But I'll also tell you exactly when not to use it. Because like any natural remedy, it can help or harm depending on how you take it. Before we start, if you enjoy learning how simple, science-backed habits can actually change your health, hit the like button right now and leave a comment saying where you're watching from. That small gesture helps our channel grow and it tells YouTube this video matters. So more people can discover these natural secrets too. All right, now let's dive in. Baking soda might look ordinary, but it's one of the most powerful multitaskers nature has given us. Chemically, it's sodium bicarbonate, a natural compound that balances pH in the body. That means it can neutralize acids, stabilize chemical reactions, and even calm inflammation. That's why you'll find it in everything from toothpaste to antacids. But what most people don't realize is that when used safely and moderately, baking soda can be a gentle way to support your body's internal balance. Let's start with the classic, baking soda water. This simple mix has become a quiet trend again, and for good reason. All you need is half a teaspoon of baking soda in a full glass of water, about eight ounces. Stir until it's fully dissolved and sip it slowly on an empty stomach or a few hours after eating. That's it, no fancy detox. No complicated recipe, just pure simplicity. But here's the secret, with baking soda, less is more. One glass a day, a few times per week, is enough to feel the difference without pushing your body too far. The first thing most people notice is relief from acid reflux. That burning in your chest after a heavy meal, gone. Baking soda neutralizes excess stomach acid almost instantly. It's the same reason hospitals have used it for decades as a natural antacid. But beyond digestion, it does something much deeper. It helps your kidneys filter toxins more efficiently by lowering acidity in your bloodstream. Studies suggest that people who use baking soda responsibly may slow down kidney decline. Not because it's a miracle cure, but because it gives the body a better environment to heal itself. And then there's your immune system. Chronic acidity can quietly drain your defenses and make you feel tired or sluggish. When your body's pH is balanced, your immune cells actually work better. They can identify and destroy pathogens more efficiently. It's one of those hidden connections between chemistry and well-being that most people never think about. Your mouth benefits too. There's a reason so many toothpaste brands still include baking soda. It fights bacteria, whitens teeth, and keeps your breath fresh. You can make your own rinse at home, just a pinch in warm water once or twice a week. It's gentle, effective, and way cheaper than mouthwash. Just remember, moderation is key. And speaking of moderation, here's something you might not expect. Baking soda can help soothe urinary tract infections. By slightly alkalizing your urine, it eases the burning sensation and helps reduce bacterial growth while you follow your doctor's treatment. It's a small, natural way to make an unpleasant situation more bearable. But maybe you're more of the active type. If you run, lift weights, or hit the gym, this part is for you. When you work out hard, your muscles produce lactic acid. That's what makes them burn and ache. Baking soda buffers that acid, helping reduce soreness and allowing you to train longer and recover faster. Even professional athletes have experimented with it to boost performance naturally, it's like a tiny secret weapon hiding in your kitchen cabinet. Now imagine your energy levels when your whole body works in balance. No excess acid, no inflammation dragging you down. People who start using baking soda water occasionally often describe feeling lighter, clearer, and more alert. It's not caffeine, it's chemistry. And it doesn't just work inside your body, your skin loves it too. Mixed with a little water into a paste, baking soda can calm irritation from shaving, bug bites, or even sunburns. Its anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties make it a perfect, natural soothing agent. 
It can also help fight fungal infections like athlete's foot or nail fungus by drying out the excess moisture that fungi thrive on. Another long-term benefit? Protecting your bones. When your body stays too acidic for too long, it pulls calcium out of your bones to balance itself. And that's one of the hidden contributors to bone loss. By gently neutralizing acidity, baking soda helps your bones hold on to their strength. Pair that with vitamin D and calcium, and you've got a solid foundation for longevity. And here's one more trick. If you struggle with sinus congestion, try mixing a small pinch of baking soda with saline water for a nasal rinse. It clears mucus, reduces irritation, and helps you breathe again. Just make sure to use distilled water and don't overdo it. Once a day is plenty. Now, before you go adding it to everything, let's talk about when not to use baking soda. If you have high blood pressure, heart issues, or are on a low sodium diet, talk to your doctor first. A half teaspoon already contains about 600 milligrams of sodium. That's significant. You should also avoid taking it right after a big meal because the rapid chemical reaction between baking soda and stomach acid can cause bloating or even discomfort. And it's not for daily, long-term use. Think of it like a helper, not a habit. So here's the takeaway. Uh, baking soda isn't a miracle potion, but it's a reminder that some of the most powerful remedies are the simplest ones. You don't need fancy detox kits or expensive powders. Sometimes all it takes is understanding how to use what you already have the right way. If you learned something new today, let me know in the comments. Have you ever tried baking soda water or used it for something else at home? I'd love to hear your experience. And don't forget to give this video a like. It really helps our channel reach more people who care about health and science just like you. If you haven't yet, subscribe and join us. Every week we share evidence-based tips to make your life healthier, simpler, and smarter. Stay curious, stay balanced, and remember, sometimes the best medicine has been sitting in your kitchen all along.